Oh, let's see, the battery's flat. Okay. Did I just see the cue card for Juliet flash pass then? I wish I could play that. But it's, it's a 42 minute long song. I haven't still. Uh, okay, we might not even get this one done if I'm not careful. And uh, two songs at a time, man. Let me just move this out of the way. I'll finish with this song. Oh! I keep forgetting I can't lift anything anymore, you know? Of course you don't know. Well, that's you. <laughs> Viewer of my channel, I'm going to try Urban Paranoia and a slow version. Because, um... the songbook containing this today, which is now called When Darkness Falls. When Darkness Calls. When Darkness Calls, thank you. Oh, that's a minor key, okay. <laughs> now, depending on what this sounds like, you can't see it. So I'm held up by my leg braces and a walking frame, just so much you can hear clumping around in the background in case you thought Lee Majors had paid me a visit. I kind of want to play off now, actually. Oh, no, I don't know. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe I won't play anything. Maybe we'll just talk for an hour. <laughs> repairs. You've closed your goodnight eyes and whispered your instructions. You let your lovers taste the cake, then ply their destruction. All in the town that you called home, your parents own a hovel, and you drive by in your limousine. You smile to see them grovel And the baby says she got a break from Some guy who says he'll take a photo But he doesn't have a studio He says, hey, why don't you meet me at a motel She needs to be a star so bad She tells you it's her destiny so she does some favors for the boys, saying maybe they'll invest in me. And all the guys smell the same, so she learns to turn her nose off. And all their promises, they smell the same, soon as she takes her clothes off. The airport shot. Oh, so the TV said Oh, and Johnny no one just jumped off the roof With a Bible on his head His 
his mama swears that she's in shock and the pappy's so distressed and then they're on the late late show the checks are signed the press they never would have a mind the much nobody would have heard this story so they take the fame while it's there poor johnny lost the glory and the preacher he had a dream last night where an angel gave salvation well the sergeant caught a glimpse of hell and fire bomb the station they meet together in the docks Swap the consequences For 30 years they kept the faith Now damn all the pretenses The candidate comes a-calling While these young wives at the surgeons You got to look good on prime time, you see When you shout, let's bomb some turbines His skeleton they will be a train before they leave the closet. You sleep with that new intern to my tender. Myra shrug, what of it? And the magazines, both perfect wastes to girls with eating problems who choke to death on diet pills. And the company says what of them and the banks all get a crash installed For their high executive mothers Who close down the nursery school next door There's one law for the others And the dealers selling bad advice Make fortunes from bad hunches and they spit upon the homeless on their way to their business lunches while in their luxury offices the right-wing bigots ponder we love to give the black chick the job but we think it's beyond her above the hunting grounds and thunder in the lowlands there's storm warnings on the radio and power in the wrong hands every other noise you hear is a beatbox or a siren the commandment says thou shalt not kill and you say you last call upon I wonder where your friends are or did something good for anyone without asking what the ends are the world outside is getting dim the light is turning grey and I'll raise a blade you on a whim and strip glossies into pieces he knows the page we grew loves him and each day his rage increases that young blonde in the flat below he knows it's her but is it he thinks maybe next time she's all alone I'm gonna pay her a little visit 
Jenny. She still gets those dreams each time she shuts her eyes. She can't forget what stepdaddy did. No matter how she tries, mommy didn't want to know. She just said she was lying. Now stepdaddy's at the door again, and he loves it when she's crying. Knocking at the door. Let's pretend that we're not home. It's not that I'm paranoid. But please leave me alone. I know you'll only smile at me. Pounce and do your worst. I know you want to kill me. So I just have to kill you. First. In case you're wondering what happened on my forearm went into a spasm. <laughs> I mean, why am I laughing? You know, <laughs> I'm dying of a terminal disease is wasted my body weight and nothing and turned me into a human jellyfish. But it's kind of a, it's just the weirdest feeling, you know. Well, what else are you gonna do, you know? So that's urban paranoia land. Oh, there's a microphone. There, that's how loud I should have been. What was up for you there all the way through that? Um, paranoia, though, which I wrote in 1993. 31 years ago. Gone just like that, you know. It was called Welcome to the 90s then. Then it was called Welcome to the New Millennium. And that was called Open Paranoia. <sighs> you don't realize. You don't realize that. You think a second is a very short space of time. What you don't realize is that a week lasts a second. You just don't know it until there's no more seconds.